welcome to another venture bandit video guys if you've been watching our last our our last videos you would know that we have been in the market for a new rv all right ashanti and i have finally agreed on rv that we both like founder <laughs> <laughs> and it accommodates both our needs yes all right we've been doing a lot of teasers all right we didn't we put i put a picture out of us sitting in front of some windows a lot of you went back on our past temper video and found which rv we picked out yes and you guys also left some very encouraging words a lot of congratulations so we really really appreciate all of your comments and just the the cheers that you guys gave us so thank you so much and i would like to shout each and every one of you out but i don't want to forget someone so i want to just say thank you yes. and ashanti give them the heart heart them you see those two <laughs> wrinkled fingers that means we love you is the BAL 5.1 stabilizing system okay this system here comes with a lot of buttons these buttons work both the chunk jacks and the stabilizers all four of the stabilizers at the same time at the same time yes. okay we gonna move around this RV moving right around okay also want to point out something it is uh, equipped for solar you just got to go ahead and get the kit and also, as well it has a side camera and a back camera so two side cameras and a back camera that we can see from the truck and not just that guys and already have the tv hookups all right you got the you got the the 110 plug also the satellite and the cable jacks you have the seamless windows oh yeah but, but before we move there Coming soon, an upgrade, a TV will be here. I got them out the bracket, but go ahead, babe. So you have the seamless windows, you have porch lights right there on each side. You also have a step light, uh, light that comes on at night. You guys, this is a four season protection and it is a... So guys, like she zero. said, this is four season. It has a heated underbelly. Yes. All right, it comes with the heated underbelly, underbelly do ducking. Yes. All right, over here, guys. But it also has the zero below. So oh, yes. explain to them about the zero okay, below. Okay, so check this out when it comes to the zero below. Okay, when it hits zero, you got five hours to, to get out of this RV, to take this RV back home, to get this RV winterized. But check this out. Before it hit zero, it can be at it can be at 10 degrees, it can be at 20 degrees, it can be at 30 degrees, and this these pipes on this RV will not freeze. But we're not gonna chance that. No, we're not gonna chance that. <laughs> <laughs> we want to keep it for a long time. Right. All right, check this out. This is my favorite. This is why we had to get this RV. He got his outside kitchen, you guys. The outside kitchen. So he can practice on his grilling and all his other uh, cooking tricks that he's Let's pull told this out you guys. So, but 
Ashanti have already been cooking on this. I told her this is my grill. No, it's She's not a lot. You have I, to season the grill. Okay, but this is my grill. Yep, that's right, it's yours. All right. Guys, when you see us, come over and have a margarita with me, okay? <laughs> if you ever see us at a park, ask for your margarita because I owe you that. Okay, something else that this came with, the camp or the unit came with a uh, key alike. All so, key alike. Yeah. Okay, the all key to like mean one key works works the outside kitchen locks. All of your compartments. Every single locks and compartment as well as the doors. Yes. All right? Yes. Um, so also so we can show the back camera. Now we did get this installed and it's amazing. It is so helpful. Uh even though Tomich will be driving this by himself got the back we got the back camera as well back camera it also comes with a ladder so that it could take you up on your roof as well so i can get on the roof and sunbathe <laughs> with my shirt off ooh. you say ooh yeah say, ooh. so we're we gonna go to we gonna go to the other side yeah. okay only only drawback with this rv being that it does have a, a compartment for a washer dryer hookup we didn't get that much storage talk about the weight of this RV. It weighs 9,826 pounds. That is empty. However, you can go up to 11,500 pounds. I am not trying to reach that weight whatsoever. I'm gonna at least try to keep us around 10.5. That way we don't have any issues. So this compartment right here, it has the battery kill switch. <coughs> So, so that's the battery kill switch. If you can see, it's a little junky, but this is the battery kill switch. Yep. And as you can tell, we have the other side camera right there that is connected. And also this. Works the front lights over yes. here. So they come on. Yes. And then you can turn it off. So we're gonna turn it off. So, so guys, this is a heavy RV, all right? I had to go get leaf springs for this RV. Yep and we're good now so this is another compartment of talmages that he has a lot of stuff in there yeah it looked like <laughs> a lot of stuff because it's not that much room <laughs> all right and then we have uh this compartment right here uh, okay which we... i call it the outside command center i really don't know the correct technical name so if you know what this little area is called please leave it in the comment below but it has an outside hose and then you can get to all of your um uh fresh water and then you can do a black water uh flush so these are all of the commands right here guys you know what, what we did forget as a very but you know what we got forgot Ashanti? That? we forgot to tell them which unit this is. Oh, that's All right. right. That is right. Come on, come on along. We forgot to tell you guys what unit this is. This is a 322 RLS open range. All right. Mm, so you group numbers together. 322, huh? It's 322. What do you call it, Asante? I call it a 322 RLS, or you could say 322 RLS. It's all the same. See, I don't, I don't agree that it's all the same. A 32 two, when I, when I hear 30, I'm thinking about 3022. No. But when she says it, she's thinking about 322. So put it in the description box. When you hear 30, do you hear 3022? But I didn't say 30. Or do you hear? I said 32 two. Now the inside. It's time for the inside. Guys quick break before we get to the inside i want to send a special shout out to my loan officer Anisa evans guys she is the best every single vehicle i own every single recreation vehicle i own we own she got us financed all right if she can't get you financed can't nobody get you financed all right 
Check the description box for her number. If you want to get finance, you're looking for an RV, you're having a hard time, give her a call. Check the description box for her number. This is my own personal loan offer, sir. Okay, you guys. So, welcome to the inside. If you thought the outside had a lot of amenities, well, the inside packs a punch. It has so many amenities that are typically found in a fifth wheel. So, let's start with the obvious one which is a residential refrigerator freezer as well and inside this freezer we get an ice maker which is very helpful it takes about maybe mm, a couple hours before it can get going until then we do have a substitute which is our ice maker and this refrigerator is called a quad refrigerator. Yes. The ice maker is filtered. And it will be able to house a lot of stuff versus me having to go back and forth to the store. So onward. We also have a lot of areas to put your items, your silverware all of that stuff pots and pans i mean it even has a trash can but it's hidden i like that and this sink which is a farm sink it has this nice metal rack it's all one sink but it also has a cutting board that you can also add right here where's the cutting board i haven't seen it in a while. um i think i took it out because did you yeah they mixed it with the trash can area and I didn't like that oh, so <laughs> with the sink it also has a sprayer which I like but this is going to be one of the updates that we're definitely going to do inside this unit also 50 inch TV look at so, that TV <laughs> so we actually replaced this TV with the one that was uh here and already uh, inside the camper. We actually put it in our bedroom and this is our old TV that we brought from our our baby that we had to get rid of. <laughs> so guys, if you remember from the RV show, I said the first thing that has to go is that TV. They had a little small TV up there and it was the first thing that yes, went. It was the first thing. We also have a fireplace where you can use it just for the ambiance or you can select heat and it will also help heat up your unit. So we want to put on some soft music at night, turn off all the lights and just turn on the fireplace. Yep. And I let you look in my eyes. <laughs> you smile like that. Onward. <laughs> it has a lot of storage, you guys. And it's deep storage a area. Lot. So what I did was, as you saw, in the previous video we had a lot of stuff instead of me having a hundred cups i now possibly have around 20 to 30 cups in here that's still a lot i know there's only two of us i know i'll take it out though so this bed right here is a queen size uh so uh sofa bed and it's very firm another update is we're gonna definitely add some uh comfy uh what pillow tops like or pillow top. yeah, yeah something in here just so that it'd be nice so when we have company they can and feel soft. comfortable yeah sure we don't want it to feel hard where the company don't feel that they have to stay they want to stay <laughs> the whole duration no well my mom is coming so we're gonna now nah, we sure. need it hard we're nope. gonna need it hard we're gonna we have to put something else up under there <laughs> anyway this is also a really good feature. Uh, it has the lights up underneath. It has a massager uh, and it heats up. And then on top of that, you pull the little lever and it reclines back you. while you watch TV or the fireplace or while Talmadge is looking into my eyes and wanting to talk and talk and talk. So onward. Something else that this unit offers is this adorable dinette set. It has a hidden compartment, which I like. 
I can put my laptop there. And it has these beautiful design chairs where one actually. You all right, you need some help? <laughs> you got it? Well, what am I doing wrong? I think you need to just lift the whole, turn the whole chair. Yeah, there you go. Oh. There okay. you go. Uh, got it now. I got it. So, one folds it, it folds out, and you have a stool, and it's like that on both sides. Or you can replace it with the two that is up underneath the bed, and you can have um, not only additional seating, but you could have a different look if you're wanting to and those are wood up here matter of fact they're wood all over the place and then you could just maybe buy some seat cushions to add them on there so guys they gave us additional chairs yep and then you also have a leaf too where it could pull out so if you have more guests eating um you'll be able to pull it out for them so this was also a game changer you guys this pantry which was really needed it keeps everything all together Talmadge must have that up already yeah and Talmadge threw the bread up there which I didn't know but the bread is up there I did not put that bread in there yeah I, I didn't put it up there but very well maintained pantry I love it keeps everything all in one ah oh. And that's another cool thing. When you turn off all the lights, boom, you got your light there. More storage for all the cups, additional cups I have. <laughs> have lots of cups. So onward, got to show you some more stuff. This right here works um, your lights. It also Hello, works the, lights. the fan that's up there. And it has an automatic sensor, so when it rains really hard, it will actually close if it rains real hard. So this is what I call the inside command center. It has where it has all of your buttons for you to bring in your slides or take them out. You can turn on the hall light, you have your porch, you have your floodlights, your pump where you can turn your pump on. Uh, you can check all your water levels here and you could also put out your awnings. Now, this right here, it's called a uh, surge protector. So we had them to wire it in and connect it and <coughs> it's inside the camper. It allows us to get the codes where we will read it right here. So that was part of the package. So it didn't come with the uh, unit, but it was part of the package that we did buy. We negotiated it. We'll in. negotiate it in. Yes. And we had them to hook that up right along with the uh, side cameras and the back camera right. and the um, toppers as well your hitch and i believe that's a equalizer it's called the equalizer yep. yes so we got a lot of additions yeah we did and that was all part of the package so here is another thing that we really really did like about this unit this bathroom it gave us a lot of room it was spacious uh we have this shower that can actually fit the both of us and if you look at my hands right here someone that's tall probably around six five six seven could definitely fit up in here pretty easily only and person that gonna fit up in here is me <laughs> i know six seven <laughs> and of course we had to bring our oxidizer from the other camper in here as well this is glass, which I also like, and you just make sure that you lock it and latch it let, prior to uh, move that rug. Let, take off. Let us let's close it so they can get a good look at this. Okay. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Sturdy. Yep. Yes. 
So actually tell them about this toilet. It's a porcelain toilet. Yep, it's a porcelain toilet and it does what it does. So what does it do? I don't know. But you also have they give you nice size medicine cabinet. Look at all that stuff. Guys. <laughs> well, she, you never. She, she promised me she wasn't gonna load this RV down. I didn't. But you never know. Look, she you, got you spawn. She got everything you can think of in this bathroom. Yep, because it's called medicine cabinet. As, so. as a matter of fact, in every room. <laughs> and they gave us some additional uh, storage down there. Uh, oh, this is what I like right here. This is, I call it the ensuite door, which. I really, really do like shortcut. Yes, or a shortcut. Yes, but it has a little snap right here. And you smell that fragrance. You can show them the towel. But yeah. I smell something that smells so oh, good in here. This is uh, go, the go Mr. back to show them the towel. Let, let them see the towels. Yeah. So you have room here for your towels, and I love this right here. What if, is that? if you're putting on your makeup or if you're needing additional counter space, this what? comes out. For us women or men, if they need additional Look stuff. Look at all that. She's yeah. organized now. <laughs> yeah. Look at all that. So that's all your stuff. Well, no, I put your stuff right here, like oh, in this I little thing. Little space. Yep. Okay. Yep. But you guys, if you don't know about this, oh, that smells this so good. Is, this is rose petal, and we actually uh, get to share this with all of you guys and um have you go to the link in the description box Mr. where 19, you can guys. order this mr 1920 yes. this 19, is the soap 20. that we've been advertising and well, it this is, is the soap <laughs> that everybody that actually purchased this soap they everybody just came back and say yeah. that it soap is good. great yep it does and we'd like to thank you guys for supporting us and buying that soap, yes, because we get a proceed of it. We thank you. Yep, it helps us to bring these videos. Yeah, it does. So, I'm gonna take you in this through this way. So we get. She like to say this is where the magic happened. <laughs> I just say this is where I go to sleep at. And he does. He goes to sleep, but on this king size bed. Yes king size bed nice firm bed this yep. is the first bed that we did not have to replace you know that storage so in the bottom. additional storage this is where the two chairs are at the outside tv and the paper towels toilet paper and how much stuck the heater right there so <laughs> something that i didn't get to say up there is that this unit also has two air conditioners so yes. we have one air conditioner uh a uh, switch that you can operate it's in the kitchen and they have another one here where we can turn on and we can operate the other air conditioner right in our room the only thing that we can't do is turn on the furnace from our room we only have one furnace so two air conditioners one furnace and a fan what do they call this air conditioner whisper? it's called the whisper yes it's called the whisper guys the and whisper. it's supposed to whisper but the furnace is kind of loud it's, it's, it's loud yeah the furnace they is a don't loud. whisper they it pride is. themselves on the air conditioner but what happened to the furnace you didn't make the furnace quiet <laughs> but anyway so this is our closet that we are sharing this with each other is a wardrobe closet yes. wardrobe closet that we're sharing and i don't really hang my clothes i like to fold my clothes yeah we're still getting it together though i wear t-shirts <laughs> right so this is the tv where we had this it originally came with the unit so this was in the living room and yes. this is the one that Thomas switched out it actually looked big in this room yeah the tv looked too small in there for me so it comes with the dresser with your two drawers and the drawers are nice size that's talmage's stuff there notice how neat it is <laughs> but the shots made me make it neat i did but this is also one of my must-haves 
I'm going to have Talmadge back up a little bit. Can I do a drum roll for you? <laughs> Can I do a drum roll, y'all? <laughs> I got my washer and dryer that I wanted. And this is a ventless one. And there's a reason why we went with the ventless one. We kept watching a lot of YouTube uh, videos where they were trying to cut a hole in the unit. And kept the, cutting to the frame of the unit. Right. That's It, 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 it ended, it ended up the with them cutting into the frame of the unit because the sticker yeah. wasn't on there correctly. So I did not want to go through that. She didn't want me to let me cut it, in and, other words. Right. Because I, I would have cut it. And he likes cutting yeah, stuff. I do. I and do. he likes drilling holes I and do. stuff like that. So <laughs> I like said, Tim. no, we're going to go ahead and just get the ventless washer and dryer just so that we're not doing any damage to the camper whatsoever. But guys, this washer and dryer is an LG dryer, okay? This is not one of your Camper World dryers. We went out and purchased this dryer before we even had the unit. Yes. And it, only she knew what we had to do to get this dryer in. I only had one friend helping us. All this here had to be taken apart. The dresser. I discons. I also, dis the door had to this. be taken off. The door. I the saw hinges. the pictures. And that bedroom door had to be taken off as All well. All this had to be taken off. The closet door, every door, any everything in the hallway. We just did not want to put no holes in the wall. Right, right. So if you decide to have uh, maybe the RV center uh, put this unit in for you, I was told that it's four and a half hours minimal. And it's $160 per hour. I should have just paid the money. Probably. That should've. was hard. Yeah. So. Well, I just couldn't put no holes in the wall with <laughs> this new RV. Something else that I have here, I have my laundry shelf and all that is Talmadge's gadgets that... She allowed me to make a charging station. Yes, because it, last time in the old RV, it was all over the bed. We and, used the bunk beds yep, for so, the charging stations. Right. So we had to use them for something. Right. So, so we're going to go out here, you guys, because there's more. Well, there's one more thing that I want to show you. And keep this in mind when I go out there because I want to show you something else. This is already wired for Pre -wired. Wi Fi, light, and internet. All we have to do is call the number that's above and we're going to go ahead and try it out and we'll be able to give you our feedback on it. So, so. we are going to get the, the Wi Fi extender. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, coming out this door. If you notice this, this says Aventura Wait. So, thank you, Crystal and Jay, thank because you. it's pointing out to the door. Thanks it's again. one of our RV home how what home warming gifts. Gifts. RV home warming gift. Yes. Thank so, you. We put it to use. Yes, we, we do. believe. That venture do awaits outside the yep, door. Right outside this door. You can't door. do no venture sitting outside <laughs> of this RV. Right, right. And also another beautiful gift is from Ron and Darcy. They have a woodwork shop and it's called the Sawhorse. And we're going to put their yeah, link in the description. You can find them on Instagram, guys. Yeah, they're on Instagram and we'll put their description, their link. In the description box. Remember below. that we put that to use. Yes. Thank Ryan and Darcy. Thank yes. you for this. We got this ourselves. <laughs> yes. So something else. So remember when I talked about us putting the Wi-Fi? We are also going to test this out. We were sent this uh, to try out from Highboos. Thank you, Highboos, for allowing us to try this out for you guys and we're going to give you our honest feedback so can you talk a little bit about this Talmadge so guys hi booze must have been watching our videos all right they seen how we was trying to get cell service on one of our videos so they recommended like hey we're going to send this hi boost out try it out they sent it to me I never heard back from them but I'm an honest guy 
We are honest people. We're gonna try this hype boost out. We're gonna we're gonna put the link in the description, but we're gonna try it out. From what I hear, it does work. I, I, I watched all the reviews on it. They said it does work, but you do have to have some type of cell signal. What it do is it enhance the cell signal. So thank you. Yep. And we're going to try it out. Boost. So really we should try it out first and give everyone our feedback on this as well. The Wi-Fi. Yeah. So guys, yeah, we got a lot to show you guys when it comes to this RV. We got a lot of different gadgets that when it purchased with this RV, we got a lot of different add-ons. We didn't did a lot to this RV in just this short amount of time. But we plan on doing more and you will be able to see all of the other additional things that we're gonna add to the camper. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful and if you're interested then hey, Go ahead and uh, give it a try. Just want to let you know we are not being sponsored by any of these individuals. Not one. So person. we are paying for this out of our own money. So on that note, we also would like to thank everyone for watching our channel, for following us, for leaving us encouraging comments, and for all of your inspiration that you guys give to us by saying hey keep going keep doing what you do adventure bandits and guys if you have not hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for it's free <laughs> and it's free give us a thumbs up and ring we'll, that bell and, and it will also alert you on anything that's coming out new from us and we also was talking what we need guys we need two at least two thousand likes because I want to know if we should start putting videos out once again every week. Right now we do it every other week. But I, we get people asking in between, when is the next video? When is the next video? If you want us to start putting videos out every week, please hit that thumbs up button. Please share this video. Let yes. everybody know who the Venture Bandits is. Yeah. Who you rolling with. Yes. And on that note. Bandits out.